Test, test, test! <clears throat> Alright, test complete, time to feed. What's up, Sorter, Invincible, Moist, Brother Thomas, Zod, Conigence, Fire Matter, Banana. You were here indeed. I see you. Okay, let's get the YouTube chat in here. What's up, Hash Kronos? Alright, today's one of those days. We'll do uh, some zero space first and then switch to Grandmaster Storm League when the Grandmasters log on. We'll be lurking by in bed. Sounds good, Matrix. Enjoy your lurking in bed. <clears throat> What up, color blocks? You got your test. That you did, Kronos. That you did. <coughs> Shadow fan overlay? I guess so, yes. Shadow fan overlay for a little bit, at least. We'll get brighter as the day goes on. One's offensive, depends on the playstyle you want to play. Orphea W bug. Oh, someone clipped someone clip this. Oh, kill it and clip One's it. One's offensive, depends on the playstyle you want to play. I knew I, I knew, I knew I saw it go forward, but then it went backward. Look at that. Depends on the playstyle you want to play. Forward, and then... It just turns backward halfway. Wait, what the heck? I don't know how Killidan finds all these Orphea bugs. Hella weird. When is the tournament? Are you in top 16? Um, We are right now, but you know, it could change, I suppose. Anything could change. Uh, I think the tournament is this Saturday and Sunday, so in about a week. Morphia working hard to get most bugs trophy. I know, right? Seems that way. There's once again some new new uh this is a Grail tech, a Zerg tech here that involves a lot of immortal here immortal units, so I'm gonna be trying that again. Seems very strong. Immortal units time. <clears throat> Sniper time. Unfortunately, this race doesn't... Or I, I don't have access to Sniper because I didn't pick the... The sub-faction that has it. Can't do it this game, but maybe next. When's the next round of GM? Basically in a week or so. It's coming up soon. Coming up pretty soon. A week to less than a week. I would say less than a week. But let's say a week just to be safe. I didn't even see who I was playing against. Oh well. Run it down. My hero's kinda busted, so my hero's stronger than his hero. We can run it down on him pretty hard here. Unit production. 
I, uh, I think I forgot to make my buildings. That's probably not good. What up, Dead Frost? How's it going? You leave my little bug alone. Life steal moves for me. Oh, what the hell? I wasn't, I wasn't looking for a second. Oh, okay, rip. Okay, so we need these guys. These guys are really good. Enemy in range. Necessary for a mortal composition. Well, got away from my hero now. Maybe I can, um... Play safe here. Wait, we'll we wait for our hero here. Ain't no way we're fighting without hero. Any hero? And then we need something to tank. Okay, let's get these guys. These guys are tanky guys. On second thought, I probably should have gotten those tanky guys first. But whatever. Okay, this should be good enough. Hopefully, we can get to the point where nothing dies now. Click it! What the hell? Oh my god, I can't click it! Oh my god, it almost died! Run! Oh, I almost forgot I should be shielding it. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, we saved Mr. Big Boy. Should be in a good spot now. Oh, we'll save him again. Save that one too. Nothing dies. Save this one too. Everything heals for a ch Giga trillion. Actually infinite healing. Heal that one again. Heal. Uh, this, is, this is almost something else. And nothing dies. Well, I guess he's dead. That one again. 250 heal, 400 heal. Wow. Heal that one again. Very busted. This feels very strong. I don't know how I feel about this. 
This kind of micro is why you never shine an RTS. I don't even think what I'm doing here is hard. I'm basically just looking at the big guy, and then when his HP gets low, I just like I press one button. It's, it's like playing a healer in Hots, you know? You just, you just. Oh, he's kind of low. I'll oh, press a button. <laughs> it's it's like even easier than playing a healer in Hots. Oh shit! It's more like range defense. <laughs> this one air unit is killing my entire army. Hold on. Okay, maybe we need some. Let me, let me get some anti air. Where's my anti air? These guys. Okay, let's morph them to become stronger. Building upgraded. Alright, back to the everything never dies thing. Once you get to this point, you can just click one button every like five seconds. It's actually very easy. Send one low. Kinda. Nope. Go heal. I'm not even. Go heal. Heal. I want to full heal this guy, but he's still at full health. What race is this? This is um, well, it's it's a Zerg race, but then there's like a sub race that's has these like I don't know tribe-looking guys. It's called Chaku Kingdom for the um. For the tribe looking guys but they have a they have a guy that can heal so it's pretty strong what's up augusto adra brayden how's it going guys what's my favorite starcraft faction i played terran and protoss in starcraft probably favorite is terran Probably. But I mean, Zerg and, Zerg and Starcraft was just too APM intensive. Um, you know, you needed like 400 APM or something to play it well, I feel like. Um, Zerg in this game is not as APM intensive. They, they simplified a lot of the APM requirements, so it's actually you know, much more enjoyable to play for someone that's not 400 APM. Like myself. The heal strat seems super strong. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is super strong. I'm actually going to play... I'm playing it because, like, I want to see how other people beat it. Looking for ideas. <clears throat> What race is this? It's called Chakru Kingdom. It's like uh, this this one. Get the crabs, the cultists, the warrior, the rageborn. Crab looking guys. If only tournaments were that simple, ye hombre. If I'm doing it, what makes you think not every every player in the tournament could probably do it? If I, I don't even play this race as my main race.
this guy doesn't know that that hero is way weaker than this hero in a 1v1, unfortunately for him. You like Zero Space or Storm Gate more at this, uh, at each are in varying stages of development. I think they both have a lot of potential. If I had to pick one, I probably would say I enjoy Zero Space more right now. I think there's just more stuff in Zero Space uh, to enjoy. That's like a big part of it. There's, um, you know, three races with five factions and all the units are done. So, you know, that's like 15 different combinations of strategies to enjoy. Stormgate has a lot of potential. I like their engine a lot. That Stormgate engine, you know, like, uh, reduces ping by a lot. I keep forgetting to make my buildings. That's not good. But in terms of what the actual units they have in the game, it's just like, you know, they only have two, two factions. And um, the, t the two factions don't have all their units yet. They don't even have the tier 3 units. So there's just, just, there's just like way less in the game right now to explore. It is so bad that I keep forgetting to make my, my supply depot in barracks, by the way. Like, that is so bad. Fuck, uh, luckily, we're not really getting punished for it. It's, my supply depot in barracks are so slow. You have a hero tier, tier list on zero space. Well, they they like balance patch like every week or something. So tier list would be kind of pointless. Would change way too much. I think. Okay, I have I have seven hundred gold. Like this can't be right. Why why do I have so much money? Let me think about this. So we need these. It's because I delayed my barracks too much. Yeah, I need this too. Enemy psychic. Solar Eclipse. Uh, I didn't see it happen where I was. Not where I was. Oh, that's awesome, though. I'm glad you caught it, though, Gina One. Unit production complete. What else do I need? Um, I need these. But I'm supply blocked. Production complete. Production is not idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Enemy in range. Okay, we have what we need for everything never dies. I think. Shit. Oh my god, he has a lot of shit. That is a lot of Zergos. Oh my, what the hell? A 
It's okay, we can lose all our circles. I don't really care about the circles. As long as these big units don't die, we're chilling. Right, we just can't let these big units die. Okay, the zerglings. See, this, this, the mistake that this guy made is uh, zerglings die. Yeah. Yeah, he made too many units that die. Why would you make units that die when you can make units that don't die? Come on now. I don't even know pretty much Zerglings. Nope. Like, Is this, this guy on then? He, he does make a lot. He is so many zerglings. What the hell? Good lord. When will it stop? Heck. Oh shit. Maybe he's finally out of I, I didn't use any of my upgrades. That's probably why I'm not winning this. You know, upgrade, man. Okay, back to never dying. Where were we? HP there, buddy. Let me fix that. Full HP. And full HP. Should probably be attacking here. Enemy in range. the energy but it says I do oh the ones with energy are not here yet.
won this strategy pretty badly though. I'd probably lose really badly if I played against someone like uh, higher ranked. I, I really need to stop forgetting to make my barracks for like 10 minutes. Your Massachusetts was like 95% eclipse there? What what time of day did it happen at? <sighs> Immortality greater than mortality. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Agreed. <coughs> One thirty five PM? Oh, okay. Is that, is that like, uh, what time zone is that? West, West or East Coast? Hey, what's up, Mr. Tempest? How's it going? <laughs> One thirty-five p.m. Texas time, so... That's a central, right? <coughs> so that would have happened at 11.35 a.m. my time. Oh, well, I would be asleep at that time, usually. In Texas, you couldn't see shit because it was overcast. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Done with D4PTR. Overall, great changes. They just need to fix some of the unintended features. Unintended features, huh? What, what unintended features are there right now? Get a job, neat. But I, but I did. I did get a job. Did we win the last game? Yeah, we uh, we eventually won the last game. Thank you, Tini. So long. We'll include casual as well. Bronze GM win in one week or less. That is the official forecast. Let's see. Most likely, I'll probably start. Yeah, I'll probably start in one week. Next next Monday is pretty likely. Unless I feel too tired or next Monday. Then maybe we'll push it back a few days. But some, sometime, sometime next week. Why thank you, GG2? Don't expect good things from this tourney. That's that's okay, Yombre. I don't. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't need you to expect good things for the tourney. I'm playing it more for, more or less for fun, anyways. 
Does AI beat you in this game? Uh, well, I think if you make the AI hard enough, it could. But I don't think it's like super advanced AI. It's just like kind of cheats when you make it hard enough. They get way more resources and stuff. Good evening, Mr. Poco. The new Necro Amulet proccing Lucky Hit on every damage tick. Interesting. I'm sure, well, that's what the PTR is for. I'm sure they'll get that fixed. New patch for D4 is live. I think it's on PTR. That's like a testing patch, basically. Game is this? This game's called Zero Space. You can use exclamation mark zero space in chat to get a TLDR for what it is. Season four goes live on May fourteenth. Ah, oh, that's quite a while. They, they launched a PTR pretty early. That's that's in quite a while. Over a month, huh? Interesting. Game bugged. I feel like the queue usually doesn't take this long. You know what? Let's restart. You never know with the early access games. Not early access, but like a closed, closed alpha games. You know any good Berserker builds? Are you talking about D4? Or are you talking about Backpack Battles? That term is too common. I'm sure Rolls knows a lot of builds. Rolls plays a ton of D4. Max bunnies for both games. Well, there you go. Fourteen three and low diamond. That does sound really strong. Vampiric Reaper, nice. Fan, I just started backpack battles. Where can I find builds? Googling takes me everywhere. Is there a good intro on how to play? Mm, well, the game's pretty new. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's some people on YouTube that post their gameplay and stuff. Maybe you can find a guide on YouTube. What I did at the start is ju I just started playing. Like, you know, it's not like it's a super complicated game. You can just play and then 
you know, if you're going for a bill, like you can kind of figure it out on your own. I just figured it out on my own. Like if if you want to play like thorns, you get all the items maybe that get give you thorns. Or if you want a crit build, you get a bunch of items that give you crit, or so on and so forth. It's, it's not too complicated to, to get the hang of. Alright, I mean... It's time for a Q game and a Q game, I guess. What was I doing this game? I have a pandemonium with a bunch of stuff in it already. That's pretty good. Um, this thing's on sale for one, so we can full pandemonium value here. Five, pa five food next to pandemonium. Beautiful. And then uh, we can get a poison goobert eventually. It's pretty good too, I guess. I guess I could put this here, this here, this here. That way the fruit will be in this fanny pack. It's a little better. This looks pretty strong. Right. I was doing my best. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Qs in zero space never take this long. Yeah, this is pretty unusual. They um almost never take this long. I don't know if it's bugged or um not. Or maybe our MMR is just getting higher. You know, high MMR ends in long queue in basically every game. That's just how high MMR goes. I'm not really sure where I want to go with this. I mean, Pandemonium Goobert, I mean, I guess, I mean, it's just poison, right? It's, it's just poison. It's like a poison angle. Um, but I kind of also want like one more fruit on this side to fully activate my my uh, Goobert. If it's a poison angle, I guess I want that. Forget supply depot and barracks every game high MMR. Well, most people are bad at most games. I, you know, I could probably forget my supply depot and barracks and beat you too, hombre. You know, it's, that's just kind of how it goes. Most people are not good at most games. We're all just varying degrees of bad. Oh, that's good. That's really good too. Man, this is on sale. That's really good too. Huh. I don't want to, like, reserve all of this, though. Hold up. We've got to, like, fi figure something out here. I don't really need the pineapple. I don't really need it. I want this. And then we need more space after this. Hmm. Yeah. It's fine, I guess. Can I do something? Can I fit this better somehow? Eh, not really. Whatever, it's good enough. Is your MMR separate between casual and ranked? I don't know. <laughs> I'd assume it's the same, but I'm not 100% sure. Is your hmm, I have such a good, like, this is just such a good pandemonium setup on this side. Should I go snake? 
Snake is better with the um, scythe. I don't think I can fit a scythe in this time around, though. Maybe we can go Mr. Struggles? What, what do you do? Health drops below 50. Items trigger 100% faster for 8 seconds. I mean, what would I want to trigger faster? Probably some dark crystals. Um, let's try Mr. Struggles here. I don't think it's bad. Should be decent. Cut like, um, yeah. Could like, uh, double speed this up. It should be pretty quick. Okay, but the problem is we don't have room for the shield now. That kind of sucks. I don't care. It was on sale anyways. Here and here, my potions cannot really can't stack them if I want to do this. Oh wait, what if I do? Ah, but then I don't get the extra value. Ah, whatever. The dagger synergizes better. It applies debuff poison. But, but the, it's not always poison. That's the problem. It, it can apply, like, there's a bunch of debuffs. If it just applies, like, a couple blind, couple cold, it's, I don't, uh, yeah. It's not that great. I was thinking about the dagger as well. I mean, it would have worked as well. It wouldn't have been bad. You're struggling after the patch. I'm too lazy to learn the probabilities. So I'm still chilling. Hmm. I just want a space where for my shield. Please. Thank you. Yo, Toast with a 5 sub gift bomb. Thank you once again, Toast. I appreciate it. Nazar, Bandico, Yuri, Tishin, Giordano. Make sure you guys all think Toast for your complimentary app block and sunglasses. And Obi Sun, thanks for the 27 months as well. I appreciate it. Name is uppercase. You got struck down as well. Thank you, Toast, once again. Welcome, name. Remove one buff for every one of your opponents. That's pretty good. Sounds good. Do like this stuff. Um. Yeah, I probably should have put the shield next to the goober. <laughs> Wait, I'm missing infinite goober value. It doesn't matter though. We're so strong. This full pandemonium is like kind of owning. I think. I right, gotta be a better way to do this. Okay, maybe like this. This. Ah, this shield is making things weird. Maybe I just sell it. I can't fit my dark items next to these guys with this stupid shield here. Oh, another poison potion. Okay, 
how are we supposed to do this? Okay, so you proc faster. And you proc faster. Or you proc faster. Okay, whatever. This is good enough. Could be worse. Yeah, they do look cute together, don't they? Is Chatterino any better when it comes to streaming? You know, Perry always told me that it was, but I've never tried it myself. Oh no. Ooh, 2 HP win. Let's go. What's this guy have? Three bows. Claws of attack. Man, Claws of attack is really good. On uh, Steel Goobert, I guess. Huh? He's going for he's going for the Exodia Goobert. You thought zero space cues are usually pretty quick? Is it because of the race you chose? I don't think so. The race I chose is the one I have the lowest MMR in, so it should be the fastest. I'm not really sure why this queue is taking so long, but I mean, I did restart my game already, so... I mean, maybe it's bugged, but I don't really know for sure. I mean, you know, I, I restarted the game. I don't think there's much more I can do if it's bugged. It's harder to reroll for the Goobert whetstones in early rounds now. Why, why is that? Why is it harder? All right, sounds good, Shakalu. Yeah, let me know. Another potion. So it'd be nice to get some dark items, I guess, to make my misses struggle uh, go faster. But all the dark items involve combining with my Corrupted Crystal. And I kind of just want my Corrupted Crystal. I don't really, like, want to combine it. I guess I just need to find more Corrupted Crystals. Armor Potion is not bad, too, but there's no more room for potions. container on sale. I mean, it's not bad. I can just stick it here. Yeah, it's not good either, but it's not bad either. Oh, pandemonium is dark. But I don't think I can put pandemonium here. Like, if I put this entire section over here, then I don't have anything over here to power my Goobert. Hmm. Wait, can I scythe my Pandemonium? But then it's only hitting a Pandemonium. Like, that doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, this goober might not be very good anymore. Maybe I should sell the goobert. We just never got the poison goobert. It's kind of unlucky. I do want this. I think I'm generating enough mana to proc this. Yeah, yeah you can make a dark heart as well, yeah. No. 
miss this. Just double axe, two HP push, and it doesn't, doesn't even seem that strong. Oh shit, we found a game. Stukov. Playing against Stukov. How do you find his way here from Hots? <clears throat> because there's more items in the pool, they added badges? Gotcha. Aren't all the badges, like, legendary? Shouldn't it be, like, a really low percent chance to roll a badge early game? The Slap King has arrived. Barracks... Yeah, well, the thing is, I need to make, like, my, my, I, like, the reason why I forget is I need to make my expansion and my, like, gas harvesters first. That's why I forget. Because that timing just basically coincides right around the time when, uh, the heroes meet. And then I, I'm, like, microing my hero. That's why I forget. But uh, we could try to not not forget this time. We could try. So. It should probably be right around now. All right, I didn't forget the depot this time. The jury is still out on the barracks. Might still forget the barracks. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. So he has at least one expansion. Barracks. Holy shit, we did it! Didn't forget barracks. It's a miracle. Another barracks. We're detecting ships on an impact course with the planet. Tracking locations on your map now. Mm -hmm. Now wait for the barracks to finish. Just like Enemy this. in range. First, production is now idle. About to get supply blocked. Okay, we got the big boys. Big boys online. Oh god, I need um, more gas actually. Like 
podcast sometime. I play viewers in this game? No, it's just random. I mean, whoever's queuing, not viewers. It said match found for like half a second. Oh, we did find a match. Nice. All right, maybe we'll do like another half an hour and then we do uh, GM Storm League after that. That should be right about the time people are uh, Storm Leaguing. <coughs> I think my game might have um, crashed. I'll give it one more minute. Yeah, it probably crashed. When hots, we'll probably start doing some GM storm leak in half an hour. I literally just said that like five seconds ago. Fire matter, are you? So stream muted or hello? Crashing in my alpha? I know, right? Making dinner? No problem. Baggy Siak, thanks for the 10 months. Welcome back. Oh, there we go again. Okay, so I have my crown now. That should be kind of nice. I believe I have enough mana generation to get to 10 and get the invuln at least once. Do we need a gem? I think the only gem spot we have is like two, three, four, five, six. No, I just I need more corrupted cr crystals. That's what I need. I don't need anything except corrupted crystals. But then, every time you only have one thing that you need, you never find it anymore. Game only gave me one corrupted crystal. The whole game. Oh, the potion is dark. Oh, that's cool. Oh god, get to 10 mana. Invuln. Oh, oh, the Invuln procced. Good. Very good. Oh, the Invuln actually came in clutch, dude. If we were not Invuln for two seconds there, we would have lost this round. It's not looking good. And if there's magic staff. What's this do? Gain heat or gain mana. So you can play a mana build with Cauldron. Hmm. And then you play potions and food. Interesting. I guess I could play Cauldron plus Pandemonium because I have a bunch of food. Maybe I'll try Cauldron next time I have a Pandemonium. And then maybe pivot into some like mana stuff on the side instead of the dark stuff. Might work. Is Cheese Goober on good on Berserker? I think so. I think Cheese is generally just really good with Berserker. I think. Any cheese things. You're so tempted to get this game. Would I recommend it? Ah, uh, yes. I think this is one of the much, one of the best games that's come out of this type in uh, quite a while. If you, if you like strategy games or auto battlers, then this game is really fun. Oh, I didn't know you could get more than one Mr. Mrs. Struggles. Oh, wow. So now we have two of these things that remove buffs from our opponents. Pretty good. It's 
Steel Goober better? Steel Goober is just OP. I mean, yeah. But, I mean, if you don't have the, that option, then uh, I would not be sad with a Cheese Goober. I, I would take a Cheese Goober on Berserker. For sure. i uh, wondering if I should get one more Blueberry. I am kind of down because I almost didn't have enough mana to proc the crown before I died last turn. One more blueberry should guarantee I have enough mana to proc the crown. Right, this guy doesn't take damage. Our is still OP, guys. What the hell? He only reached 35 heat. He has zero buffs. Like, what? What even is this? This is literally just... One burning blade, one burning dagger. Some gloves of haste. Like, this doesn't even look good, man. This... And a sun armor. This is, like... Bad. Like... And he has mana. But... Oh, okay. Well, I guess this part's okay. I mean, this, I, I, don't know, I guess it's not bad. It's like decent to good. I don't feel like I should lose by this much, though. Pyromancer's still busted. How's Zero Space feel? That's pretty fun. If you enjoy RTS, um, I think you'd enjoy it. Also, if you enjoy MOBAs, because then. You know, they have heroes and talents in the game, so I think uh, MOBA players would kind of like it as well, especially the early game where you fight with the hero. Okay, let's do this. And then I do... Okay, let's do this then. Oh, Pestilence Potion. That's good. I want another Pestilence Potion. Can I buy it this turn? I could, but I couldn't fit it this turn. So, eh, whatever. Let's just go. Why does this class look like Lena from Dota 2? Well, I don't know. I guess they took inspiration from it. Alright, I'm going to boot up a Hots Q2. You know what? We're, we're going to Q and a Q and a Q and we're just going to play whatever happens. This shield is terrible. Without upgrading to moon, only protects to melee. Oh, that's why everyone up upgrades it to moon because it the moon one protects it to everyone. How do you upgrade it to moon? Is it just the mana crystal? Oh, okay, thank you. I didn't know that. Well, I had a mana crystal there. I should have bought it, I guess. It's on sale. This lamp is not going to proc. It doesn't need to be pointing to the weapon. It's fine. Okay, we're officially in the queue and a queue. We're in a hot queue and a zero space queue. Ah, oh, shit. Poison, poison dagger. Okay. It just kind of sucks that I couldn't get 
a... I just couldn't find any other... What the hell is this? Use one luck to gain two buffs of the type which you have the most. Misfortune. But I don't... I don't have any luck. So... I don't have any luck generation, so it's kind of pointless. Ah, uh, that is how you make a moon shield. Kind of do want it, though. I mean, it's like, it's not like I got anything else good going on. Whatever. Oh, I'm dead here. He has infinite buffs. I'm slowly stealing all of them, though. But I'm also dying. Why are these potions not proccing? Oh, you gotta get them under half. Okay. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure if you want to play Mr. Struggles, you need a lot of Corrupted Crystals. I probably needed like at least two if I was going to play Mr. Struggles. Yeah, not worth it without at least two. That game, I never found a second garlic though. Like, that was so weird. The whole game, we didn't find a second garlic. Like, what? How's that even possible, you know? Do I want to buy a full price pen? I guess. Should be pretty good. What up, Mad Men? <laughs> RTS not well again. We can't really, for some reason, we can't seem to find a game. So I don't know if it was RTS time. We'll see. Um, that's an early poison goobert. Should be good. But then I have no activators for it. We're going to need to find some activators. I don't know if poison goobert is like that good though. I don't know if I was, you know, I don't know if it's like GG good. Is it GG good? Do I buy a full price mana orb? Probably not. Does this do anything here? No. <laughs> what up, Dagger? You like pudding? I mean, a lot of people like pudding, I bet. I bet a lot of people here like pudding. I respect that. So how do I... Hmm. Regular Emerald. Should be pretty good. So how do I... How do we... For one, we need more space. <coughs> oh, found a hot scheme. 
All right. Well, I mean, I guess it's time for haunts. Q and a Q. Poison dagger? Yeah, I was thinking about buying the dagger, but I didn't have space to fit it. Um, but then, yeah, I'm starting to think I should. I, I think I should have bought it. I think I should have bought the dagger. Banana would be a good goober procker, but I, uh, there's there's better goober prockers. I mean, the thing about banana is we just don't need banana. Ah, yeah, like that would be a much more better Cooper Bocker. Oops. Oh, last round I could have uh, I could have probably fanny packed the other side. That's true. I probably could have fanny packed the other side last round. I'm kind of getting owned. Oh no. I mean, this is another pandemonium. Do I want to go that route? I mean, I guess maybe I'll try the poison dagger too. I'm getting poo pooed on. Wait, actually, early, super early poison. Okay, I'm starting to think like a round two poison goobert is not good. A normal goobert with two fly fly garlics is probably a lot better. I I sh don't think I should have made the poison goobert that early. Yeah, but I think making the poison gooberts that early was kind of really bad. It made me way weaker for all those early rounds. Uh. SC2 cube is max one second. Oh, all right, well, we're in a closed alpha, you know. The player pool in the closed alpha Anytime is probably like in the hundreds. The player pool of StarCraft 2 is probably hundreds of thousands. So closed alpha, the, it's just closed alpha things.
It's June, so it is. So it is. Can you hear it? The end of the alliance. I trust you already. I will show you just how ready I am. Why is that cat seller so annoying? That was a good question. They did make uh, make it pretty annoying. This fight begins in. Life stealing off of poison seems stronger than the pan. Oh. Life stealing off poison. Is that what the vamp thing does? I've I haven't tried it much. All right, I'll, I'll read it and try it. I might be down to try it. I don't know if it's stronger than the pet though. I mean, the thing with the pet is like pet and poison goober. Like the the second you get the scythe, you just like. You just like win. Scythe plus pet plus poison over it seems super strong. We are kind of dying. You know, we do only have two lives left, that's true. Well, we'll get plus one life on the class choosing round though, right? How many hours a day do you train for HCC? Oh, when I was playing HCC, I probably play like probably 12 hours a day on average, I'd say. I think that was not normal though. Like I think most of the pro players played less than that. But uh, the really good ones probably played that much. All played that much. But most most of the average ones didn't. Twelve is a lot of hours, yeah. That's a lot of hours. That's why they earned less money. That's true. That is true. Not wrong. Our scouts report that the Alliance is holding some of our warriors in chains. Prepare to set them free. I wonder if we can kill this guy. I think we can. Frying TV starting down. Well, maybe, maybe not if the third guy joins in. Good trade though. Passionate and having fun, 12 hours won't feel like 12 hours. True. That's so true. <coughs> Why no body check too lazy? Yeah, pretty much.
canceled its Q there. Well, these are good trades, but we're not killing anything. Release Garrosh, where the Q would pull you into him. That was good times. I did enjoy those times. Not really, actually. I hated those times. I mean, it was fun if you're Garrosh. It was not fun if you were not Garrosh. The Alliance is taking our camp. Push them out and reinforce the lock. this throw, I don't understand. The symbol for in range to throw was on that right wing. And I was spamming the throw, but like I wasn't actually in range. Like it wouldn't let me throw it. There ain't no way. People ain't G. Oh, it was on CD. Oh, okay, unlucky. A do you, fan? Do you regret switching from Dota to Hots? No, I don't regret it. I do not regret it. There ain't no way that guy lives, man. That's crazy. Do we not have loop on the Volo? Or what? I don't get it. I do feel like I would have made more money and fame if I kept playing Dota though. But I, I mean, I don't regret it. Hots was a pretty great time as well. One-hour matches are draining. Yeah, they definitely can be. I feel you. Oh man, that was almost hella close. This guy's haymaker. Show them that no orc can be imprisoned for long. Keep that in mind, that means he's very killable. Victory Arrow down, I guess, but they got boss for it, so it's actually pretty good for them.
I shouldn't have gone in there. Kind of wasted it. Not up. Oh, Neo. Dude, they all like Brightwing is saving everyone with one HP. We literally can't kill shit. Can't kill anything. Cavalry. Is this waffles? No, it's not waffles. I wish it was waffles. We'd probably be killing more stuff if it was waffles, honestly. Yeah, Rainer is like full PvE too, so we're just trying to kill someone. Like, the whole time we just needed. We're trying to kill someone with only three people, and they get away with one HP every time. Tragic. I got him inside the floor. I don't know if it's enough, but it's How come that Brightwing didn't blink on the Vala? I guess he was fine the whole time. Taking out our cavalry won't win you the war, Black Star. I'll go where I want to go. <laughs> They're doing this. This is unfortunate. They have barrel, can't stop. I mean, they're just getting everything for free. Like it feels like their, it feels like their team is the team with the, with the PVE Rainer. You know? Oh my God. Okay, this is stupid. Don't know why Rainer went PvE on this map. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I don't think it's that great on this map. I mean, it's okay on any map though. It's like, I don't mind it, but... It's just weird that we have the PvE Rainer and they got every boss for free. Like, that's kind of weird. I should probably just save the throw to throw him out of the point of the point. They might kill us all here though, because they got the mouth kill. Well, it's kind of sketch. Gotta get out of here now. Not enough grip. Oh, 
GG. That's a good run. Does Rainer have 16 Q heal? Uh, he does not. This is like the full auto build. Korean server? No, this is uh, NA server. AA against this comp? MVP. Um, I mean, full AA is fine. I wouldn't even say this is full AA. I mean, once again, this is just Exterminator. The problem with Exterminator is it does no damage. He has the same damage as me, right? So the Exterminator, you take Exterminator to get a PvE lead. But we never had a PvE lead. In fact, we were behind the whole game in PvE. Uh, so, like... I wouldn't call it an AA build. The problem was we had the PvE build and we were not winning PvE. So then we can't win PvP either, so we just can't win anything. That was a problem. Anyways, BRB one sec. Dan, what are the most important things that you should focus on to win more games you want to improve in HOTS? Well, the macro is always very important. The soaking, the camps, when to do them, 
you know, understanding why it's important, understanding when you should soak and when you should not, all that's very important. If you want to get better in HOTS, I highly recommend you look at my Patreon. It's linked in all the YouTube videos. We have full course guides on all the things that you need to get better at HOTS. We have macro guides, micro guides, hero guides, map guides, pretty much everything. So if you're seriously trying to get better, I definitely recommend you check that out. Yes, because the thing is, everything is important. Yeah. One thing, when, when someone asks, what's the one thing I should know to get better? What that tells me is they're, they're not really trying to get better. What, what, what that usually means to me is you're trying to like, just like, you think that there's a magic phrase that I can say, and then you, you hear it, and then in five seconds, you're just, you're better at the game. You know, that's just not how it works. If you want to get better, you have to actually study. Go look at the, my guides, go look at all the videos, and slowly try to apply what you learn into your own gameplay. And it's going to be slow and steady progress. Again. There's nothing that you're just going to hear me say in five seconds and all of a sudden you're just a way better player. That's never going to happen. You know. I bring the mega death. Um, what do I want to play? We have a Jaina and a Leoric. They have a Chromie and a Vala. I don't know what I want to play, really. I serve. Maybe I'll try this. i try a uh, four man's era. I do know the magic words that'll make you better, but they're exclusive to my Patreon. Well, they're exclusive to my Patreon because these magic words, uh, you know, they'll, they'll take me about 30, 40, 50 hours to say them all. So yeah, I mean, that's why they're recorded on the Patreon. I'm not going to sit here repeating 50 hours worth of guides, you know, for every one person that asks. Kind of impossible. The battle begins in 10 seconds. Five, Chen, four, please. Three, two, Chen, sure. One. Add uh, someone out of Chen to the. Let the battle list. begin. <laughs> I think we just go VP. VP has good synergy with Jaina. I think we just go VP. <laughs> I am renewed. Where are we level one? Yeah. Oh, that's probably already dead. I'm leaving. We're level one variant against uh, Vala that's probably stacking, so we don't want to fight level one. Give them too many stacks. Watch out! Before they get down that bottom camp. Oh no, that's bad. That's in a port. Here, you get dead. Goodbye, team. It was nice knowing ya. Man, their team is just so much stronger pre 4. This is gonna be super snowball y if we, uh. 
Lambda keeps going this way. Because Sarvarian can't do anything till 4. And they have super strong arrows. Lucio Vala, super strong. Sir, thanks for the prime. Welcome back. Go forth, activate the shrine, slay its guardians. Capable of punishing, serve the burning hells. a pretty uh, ambitious slide. Good for us though. Why is this guy not killing this guy? Come on guys. Shouldn't let him free clear the camp when we're up, man. Rotating in now, though, so we should start backing up. I think he's stuck. Okay, it's good he slid me. If he slid Varian there, the Varian's dead. Should take a pre tap and go, I guess. Fighting here, they're infinite tanky heroes. Nice. That's a minus one stack on Vala, too. That's pretty good. Oh no. Oh my god, about. And one of them died. That was such, that was such a close fight, but we came out big on that. I think I just got hit by three chromie cubes. Pain. You know, whenever you get hit by like three chromie cubes or three Gul'dan cubes, it's it's just so painful. Even if it doesn't really matter, you know, it's like, you just lose pride when you get hit by all three. Feels bad, man. Yeah, it's like emotional damage. Exactly. I just took some serious emotional damage. What is this? An enemy has disappeared. We must act. Sliding me was really good for the Varian. The Varian is dead like three times over if he got slid, but instead the ETC always chooses me. It's good for us. I'm like full HP with Blink Up. I 
kind of want to just go to Kent. Like, we're not doing anything bottom. I want to get 16. I shall join you shortly. They're split right now. We might actually be able to catch someone. Not in the bush variant it's in though, that bush is probably not gonna... Yeah, I don't think it's good enough. Oh, we already lost Jaina, it's not a winning fight. Couldn't be people with the damage dealers unfortunately, unless a very good mosh from the... What's his face? Oh, he has, he has charge. My bad. I don't know, he had charge. How do you double soak on Zeratul? What do you mean, how do you double soak on Zeratul? You just go to one minion wave, you kill it, and then <laughs> you go to the second minion wave. Zeratul is usually an off laner, but you know, he doesn't always have to be. You can play him in the four man. If you play him in the four man, you just like usually you roam more, you gank more. Where yet? Thanks for the prime. Welcome back. Oh shit! And she got me. Oh, I might be. You get dead here, boys. Ah, uh, the cleanse was a little bit not timed. It's hard to deal with the Rhaegar cleanse though, so it's understandable. Oh well, two more levels. Man, these guys are just getting looped on cooldown. Well, I'm gonna go 616. We're just 1v4ing over and over. <sighs> Problem with this game is that my tank's not very good. Sag. Can't really play the game when the tank is getting gapped so hard. So like every time loop is off cooldown, we get they get a kill.
out. We gotta fight before they hit 20. I think this is time to find out. Ready. A shrine gathers power. You will take it for me. Like, where's my tank? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> He's like, what? He's in the, like, the middle of the second lane. What's my tank doing? Like, what? What, what, what is this? I don't get it. He's wave clearing. They're literally in the middle of this shrine. This should be a pretty good fight. Ah, Chain is just dead instantly. It's just game. Can't play this game, man. Killadin didn't pick a hero he can actually play either. So we just can't play the game. Rip. Oh four one five. I'll go. These are good ETC slides though, I won't say. GG. A good ETC game. We do only have one interrupt for Mosh and it's on the tank, so yeah, that's true. Usually those are the best Mosh games. That's a rough one. Man, yeah, it happens. I mean, when when your tank is not good, you and the other tank is, you basically can't play the game in a high elo game like this one, where everyone is reasonable enough to not make big mistakes. You just can't play the game when there's when you have a tank that's not good and they have a tank that's good. Actually, uh, this doesn't even life steal off of. Yeah, this one doesn't life steal off of poison anymore. I think they changed it. Now it just makes your weapon steal. Like it, this one is just direct with life steal now. It has nothing to do with poison. So that's definitely not what we want here. I did say last time I might maybe I could try cauldron, but cauldron would be in the place that the poison goober is currently in. So, I don't think we can play Kong in this game. Oh yeah, I need to play Chen. 
Let's do a Chendona. Which anomaly would you give a second uh, chance? Climate or Medallion? I'd probably take Medallion over Climate. The Climate was just weird. It was just like ran like it was literally random. Just like random effects happening at random times. And the random effects would also lag a lot of people's computers and stuff. Climate was just weird. I don't think Climate was good. A Chen. I mean, I guess we play this then. I kind of want this. How do we play this? I kind of want this too. But it's like, hmm, no room. I have to play this though. I guess I'll just do it like this for now. Uh, do for now. I'm only getting, I'm getting very sub-optimal pandemonium procs here though. I need uh, more space so I can get better pandemonium procs. I can upgrade the armor. This one on sale is not bad. Okay, we definitely need the space. How do we... Okay, space... Move this over. I think like this is much better. Okay, now we have four pandemonium procs. It's better. Where's the lamp? <coughs> I haven't seen a lamp yet. Well, I probably won't buy lamp with this build though. I mean, lamp is good when you have weapons. I don't have, this is like a poison build. I don't really have any weapons. I would prepare for your ceaseless battle. If you wish to live, that is. Tell me, are you ready to purify this world? <laughs> of course. He's tank again? Yeah, he is, but this game, the player quality is low, lower. Like last game, the player quality was like high GM. This game, there's like a bunch of boosted master players, so... It's probably fine. He is also like one of the boosted master players, so like there's, there's other boosted master players on the other team this time. So he can probably get away with tanking worse in this kind of game. This is definitely the way. What the hell is this? It's kind of toxic. Now the problem with this matchup is the problem with Chen in general is your um, solo laning ability is like your wave clear is pretty slow. That's like the biggest thing keeping Chen from being a off laner that's played a lot. So when our solo lane clear is weak, the only thing we can really do is try to beat the shit out of the other guy. It's not easy though. Blaze is very good at sustaining. But that's the only thing we can do to try to stabilize. This 
Mercenaries will swing this in the Crusades' favor. Let's go. Mercenaries will swing this in the Crusades' People still favor. boost in hots? Well, I mean, I'm sure they do, but when I say boosted master, I'm just, it's just like a... It's just like a term. It just means they're not really high grandmaster. You know. They're, there's like... There's like high grandmasters, and then there's like the the master players that just are not good. <laughs> they're just not high grandmaster. I I just mean they're not as they're not like the highest tier players. The Ring of Fire talent does help your wave clear a lot, but the problem is you get that at level 13. By the time you get level 13, it needs to be at level 4 for Chen to be like, or 1 for Chen to be good at wave clear. By the time level 13 comes around, you're not really even in laning phase anymore, so the wave clear matters a lot less at that point in time. I guess I'll stand on the middle for a while. There's there's very few objectives that I think are better than double soaking, but uh, uncontested Sky Temple objective I think actually is better than soaking. This thing just kills buildings so fast. Maybe I'll soak a bit. It's at my towers. There's like a lot of silk bottom there. I'm like, oh, get that. On my way to you. It's like this way, Big too. Choose a talent. Happy birthday, fam. In Brazil, we are very into you. We love you. Why thank you, No Heal? Is it my birthday? I'm not so sure about that, but I'll take it nevertheless. Welcome back. Thanks for the twin. Shouldn't have tried. I mean, I guess we did save him, but we died our, ourselves, so it's kind of the same thing. Difference in the XP gain? No, I don't think there is. The light of the sun grows within the temple. I don't think there's any difference in the XP gain, no matter who kills. Uh, can he get on the point? He better get on the point. So if I can get there, that's big. Oh, I can get there. That's big. So you got free boss if I can get there. Not sure why they try to do that with a Chen well done, loyal servant. on the other team. Magic it does force me to go Barrel, which is like kind of the worst ult, but I mean, if Barrel comes with a free boss attached, then 
it's kind of that's pretty worth I uh, actually waited for the barrel there too. I didn't barrel right after I uh, I didn't barrel right after I queued on the point because I, I saw the arrow was gonna get a huge connection too. So we got like the best of both worlds. Big arrow and big barrel. It even rhymes. Oh my god, he's at the auto attack speed slow. I can't, like, my auto attack speed is negative the second I get on oil. It's so annoying. I'm pretty sure he's going bottom, so I need to go bottom too. 5v5 it. I'm just gonna zone the healer, make sure he can't join this fight. We should win, because we already got a kill, as long as the healer's zoned. Our Hanzo jumped over here and died for free though, that's uh, classic. Since I'm going barrel, I'm just gonna go slow kick. Set up the barrel better. I, I was here to zone the Rhaegar. I feel like the Hanzo felt like I was here to kill the Rhaegar and he like jumped over to try to kill him. But the problem is there's no way either of us would ever reach that Rhaegar. So that was really stupid of him to jump over there. Like what he should have been doing is just killing the rest of the stragglers because the Rhaegar can never get past me. <laughs> but instead he jumped for a target he can't reach and then just died later because uh, kind of stupid you know. that's gm storm link We got Ancestral there. I think we might have gotten Bunker? Maybe not Bunker. We got Ancestral and Fallen Sword, right? That's pretty good. My Hanzo is like... He's one of those all finger, no brain Hanzos, I think. Like, his, his mechanics are probably pretty good, but anyway, his decision making is kinda, kinda sus. Five man top, we're getting good soak here and there. Kind of. I'll take it. Barrel is a very good get out of the town for free ultimate. My temple's magic subscribes. Oh, or do I just want to be tankier? I feel like I just want to be tankier. Let's go. Man, it's got a short cooldown. Very short cooldown. 50 seconds. Cooldown is probably like one of the nicest things about it. I'm just gonna zone the 
Gar again. Actually, I can probably more than this one from here. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Ah, random stat padding, my favorite. Yes. My magic flows through the temples. Guardians, do not let these walls approach them. Look at how much uh, of his life I took off there. Not bad. It's four versus five, and my tank is literally behind enemy lines. Very stupid, but alright. I'm just gonna try to zone the enemy team as much as I can here. I guess I'll go here then. Do I want the fast barrel? I feel like fast barrel always kind of sucks. It always sucks. I don't want it. I don't know. It like messes the barrel up. Like I like I feel like the control on the fast one is worse than the control on the slow one. You can't really get the other guy to go where you want to go with the fast one. Much easier with the slow one. this guy going man is he soaking level 25 or what like that my tank is literally headed into the middle of four people and Junkrat's like let me go clear mid wave real quick oh my god So tanky, 30 armor, plus all of the, whatever this is, 20% bonus health, hella tanky. <laughs> Never 1v1. Good. 
barely got me with the poison there too. It was like barely. Why is he clearing top? This is four versus two guys. Like you'd imagine you go kill the keep when it's four versus two. But no, you soak level 22 when it's 4 versus 2. I mean, I guess. I'm sure. If they kill this keep, the next shrine wins the game. But instead, we got two camps that'll do nothing, and we soaked level 22. So the next shrine does not win the game. Pog. Can't you cancel ult chug? Can you? I... Can you cancel Keg? I don't think you can. I was like looking at it at the end there. I mean, just do boss if we have five people. Wait, how long does this last? Two seconds. It's only two seconds. My barrel lasts for five seconds. It should be enough. Ah, oh, they're coming though. Can you get on this side of the freaking boss, you freaking morons? Holy shit. Alright, our tank just really wants it. It's, it's fine. All good. Oh my god, I didn't get it. I barely didn't get it. That's not good. Didn't get his uh, TP, that is. That's all four. Kinda scary. I'm Chen though. I'm like actually so tanky. 30 armor, 20% max HP. Good god, I'm tanky. Hello, kill the blaze please. Any blaze killers. Thank you. I am so tanky, dude. I'm so tanky. Holy tanky Batman. I am that which cannot be killed. Oh, he's perfect stun. Look at Ali being his perfect stun. It's top kick. think I care about your keep, I don't care. I am way too tanky, actually. Way too tanky. Wait, I have 7,000 HP. 7,000 HP. Plus 30 armor. Plus we can like drink whenever we want. Damn, we're tanky. Plus we have like the D-Shield stagger thing. Hella tanky. I wish, I wish the damage tank stat still showed. It'd be very high, that's for sure, whatever it was. It's over now. Leave my domain. MVP. It said 8,000 for health. Oh, really? Did I have 8,000 with the with the buff at 20? Yeah, that's a lot of HP. That's kind of I didn't I didn't expect I didn't think uh I didn't really know Chen could hit 8K with even with that buff. That's so much. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. <laughs> was that was that was that Jason Bourne? Is Jason Bourne tanky though? I mean, I guess people fire bullets at him all the time and he never dies. I mean I guess he's kinda tanky.
Oh, 8.6 is probably with a max strength shield. That would make sense, yeah. That would make sense. Hey, what's up, Legacy? How's it going? I told June to DM this to your Hanza and he did it. Optometrist. <laughs> nice. Fair point, fair point. Hanzo's in your lobby again? Yeah, I know. The Hanzo, that's his best hero, so... It's fine. If he plays something else, he's gonna play it worse. Oh, this is my jail! With every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. I could make a poison dagger. That sounds pretty nice. I don't have space to. I don't have space to. Maybe like this, and then. Two spots are here. So maybe two blueberries here, one here, one here. Now we have a f fully activated pan. And then maybe we can... Oh, how do I combine this poison dagger, though? Maybe the snake just sits out for a round, just so we can do a poison dagger. It's probably fine. I think stone armor is really good, actually, with uh, this class. 80 armor, and then you get 30% of your missing health worth of armor. Which is gonna be what? I don't know. Probably like another 30. It's probably like 100 plus armor on one item. Man, that's like, stone armor is really good for this class. It's like really good. How many spaces are there? Two. Okay, might be worth getting a potion stack. Aid calls. be 54 if you're missing 99%. Yeah, but it's when your health drops below 50%. So it's 30% of 50% of my health, which is probably a lot less. But it's still good. Like it's still a really good number. Let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Ranner? How's the game's gone? Well, same as always. Heck, clapping as always. Ten Clown Fiesta, as always. Five, four, three, two, Stone armor, great one. with the uh, Berserker as well. Oh, I could see that. Although it's kind of funny, because Berserker, you get to upgrade the armor into the dragon armor. Right? But then the stone armor is probably better than the dragon armor. But then what's the point of having the class-specific upgrade then? I kind of don't want to go block because Tracer gets rid of all of the charges.
then will the tracer really be there the whole time? Nah, I'm going it anyway. She's not gonna be able to hit me every single time I jump in. It's really good against like Vala. Pretty good against Diablo. Watch out! Bad things going on here. Let's get it on. Would you take a talent that did nothing but give you things and crit kickers? <laughs> well, in Bronze and GM, I would. Let's go. Danger is close. Choose a talent. Heroes, you're just in time for the seeds of my vengeance to sprout. But which of you will gather them first? I was kind of thinking that uh, Johanna was gonna walk in. I guess he thought I was gonna jump in. I don't want to commit jump though. Well, that was unfortunate. To not be the first to harvest enough. What two tanks? Yeah, we have an off lane Johanna, which is like doable, but I don't think it's very good. I got his dash. There's no dash. I see you have nice. some no one's stopping us. Thank you kindly. Am I a tank main? <laughs> no, but there's no one that knows how to play tank in Storm League, so they make me do it every game. Better to be rid of it. I've met blood elves tougher than you. I'm coming through. Oh. <laughs> Liam's been in this spot before. He ain't never getting past the. I'm the goalie. Oh, nice work. How you feel on the yield? Eh, I guess it's just a game wide thing. No one plays tank. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. Oh, he came back out and almost fed. Oh, we almost kicked that guy so hard for that glow. He's 1 HP now, so he can't fight. It should be really good for us. Soon. Oh, 
is taking too long though. The blaze can stall from like Antarctica, so I better to get ten here. Uh oh, disaster! Ah, oh, we couldn't get ten. I thought we could uh, get ten while I stalled, but I guess no one got this wave. If we get ten, I can pop Avatar there. And then we can have a 10 fight. Unfortunately. Man, still no one is getting 10, man. Someone should have really hit the minion one time there. If someone just killed the couple minions there, we would have smashed that fight. It's so sad. Let's crack some skulls. I think I was low on mana. I was. I might, maybe it would have been too low mana. Oh, no one hit bot bot wave for 10 years. Get 10. We're 9.99. There's a wave there. Just get 10. Why did no one get 10? I feel like Johanna should have gotten it. I mean, she's the only one that wave clears. Really, Johanna getting it would have been super fast and easy. I did see germinating. Are you ready for it? Why didn't I hit the wave? Because no one no one else was stalling. I had to stall. You know Johanna maybe could have stalled too, but she was wherever she was, she was not gonna stall the next one. But then she didn't do either thing. So sad. We should have gotten the stall, gotten ten and just like gotten three level lead there but instead like everyone's just doing jack shit man so sad So they have no pull here, but it doesn't really look like we can kill anyone. We could probably get Zildjian a bunch of stacks though, I'm down to get stacks. you be gathering that seed, heroes? Mm, keep going for Tracer, but Tracer has too many dashes. I'm just, I should probably just go for Diablo. Seed to gather heroes. It won't be long now. Should have gotten this camp out too. I suggest but we didn't. He has bunker most likely. Well, 
Got pull. A little unfortunate the stun missed. But face check in Vala gives us pull. We'll take it. Four versus five is pretty bad though. We'll probably have to give this then. Dumb man. Oh, I'm just watching all these Pepega ass damage dealers running around. So hard to punish them for, for their mistakes. It'd be so much easier if I was on a damage. So. Thank you kindly. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. The terrors are nothing but compost. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit on him then. I guess my team's getting kicked though. Oh, lordy. We just have this Johanna offlane too. It's really strange. I don't think it's very good. It doesn't really feel like it's doing anything. Oh, it's a sick double stun angle. Chase, why are we not chasing? Why, Luciel, why are you not chasing? It's the easiest chase of your life. Dude, my stun went through him. I Gather that seed for me. I need some help here. Well, we CC'd the Vala for 75 years. Hopefully that does something. Kind of a draw. We have two tanks though. Maybe the second one can do something here. That's a sick double stun. I still have a lot of uh, tankiness left in me, but I don't want to use it. kind of want to bait them into continuing the fight. There we go. 
Why are we not chasing? This guy sucks at chasing. Learn how to chase. Thank you. Hmm. I got the objective. So we got one, one more kill. Should be two more kills. Should be fine. Two more kills is worth it. Lucio needs to not die though. Choose a talent. Feel like I can take on the world. A new seed is set to sprout. We have no buildings. It's very unfortunate. I'll have to buy some buildings. Is. Gather the seed before your enemy does. I'm surprised that I even hit. They have full vision of it. Really, shouldn't even have hit. Trust you know what to do, heroes. I mean, I'm the tank, so I can stay here for a very long time and it should be okay. This should be a winning fight. They're all 1 HP. I'm just gonna sit on Andor now. Make sure he can't heal. What did I take for four? Attack speed slow. Super good against Tracer Volo. Should be a guaranteed win.
Chalice have fallen, and the sun dawns again. Back to the battle, then. I see you have some thorns. Found this little soiree amusing. MVP. Hanzo keeps throwing away his alt. Yeah, yeah he's just, I mean, it's just, that's just like the kind of alt solo queue breeds. Just like all or nothing random rip ripping ults. He's not he's not like ulting out of vision either. Like all his ults in full vision. But that is still his best hero, so it is what it is. I guess I just look for more poison. Oh, more of, more of these is really good too. That's always nice. I'd be down for another, for more armor, but no room. Who's your best hero? I don't know, ask chat. We play too much stuff. Oh, that was so close. Got him. Double axe with some pretty good gems. Not bad. You want to know if dragon scale armor stacks? Like, if you have two dragon scale armors, just how how does the damage reduction stack is it would you take 30 percent less damage or would it be some like weird multiplicative thing where it's like way less than 30 percent how does it stack hmm The wiki says it's additive. Okay, well, I mean. So additive means if you have two of them, then you have 30% damage reduction. It's just like that. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, I could have put all three potions in the belt. Oh, I'm kind of boosted. Oh, well. The potion belt got nerfed so much. The effect is like... It's like so whatever now. I don't even care about the potion belt. What's the effect? Four debuffs cleansed. 
with four potions consumed. I mean, like, you know, whatever, man. That's so little for for a four potion consumption. I do have a bunch of mana again. Crown might not be bad. I feel like a, a potion would be better, though. Anti-heal. I guess poison is better here. Oh, I see. So the potion belt stacks too. So if you have two potion belts, then it cleanses eight debuffs. I guess that's kind of decent. I guess that's kind of decent. I don't know if I want to buy this or not. Ah, that's, it's it's two second involvement is pretty pretty darn good. I'll buy it. I should have put it here. <coughs> I think I oh my god. Like two second invuln saved me there. I think in those two seconds my poison did a like a my poison did a hundred extra damage in those two seconds. Wow. That was actually super worth it. Oh yeah, Scythe would be super good. I'm not convinced on keep rolling until I find it though. I mean, that's like, isn't it a really low probability if you're going for Scythe and that's all you're going for? I think that's like a really low probability. Well, maybe not really low, but like kind of low. Scythe costs a lot of gold too. What's on another one on sale? I mean, I guess. Scythe without the uh, the customer card is hard to find. Gotcha. I mean, if I was in like a terrible spot here, I would re-roll for Scythe, donkey roll for Scythe. But I'm in a pretty good spot here. Like even without the Scythe, my board is pretty strong. I think. So. Donkey rolling here and like is essentially skipping turns with a strong board doesn't really make sense. I mean, the strong board will win anyways if you just keep making it stronger. The question is, how strong is this board? Is this board strong enough to go for more? Probably not. Without the scythe, it's probably not strong enough to go for more. It's probably like a 10 win board. You can access ranger items. Is there any merit of playing ranger, but I'm reaper? Like, no, there's no, why would any, why, why would anyone want to do this? That's what I don't understand. You know, like, I don't get it. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. What if... Doesn't Ranger have poison bows? Yeah, but what does that have to do with clovers? I mean, that, that has nothing to do with clovers. It just doesn't make sense. Like, this... this I don't get these gems. Like, it's just... Like, what? Who would play this? It doesn't make any sense. It's not even good. I feel like it's good, like, one out of a hundred times or something. Like, it's just... Why would anyone play that? I don't get it. All right, peace out, Mr. Poco. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, 
Oh. One HP win? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I guess maybe the Berserker one could be good. I mean, just because, just, just like, Battle Rage is always good. Like, Battle Rage is really good. I could see that. I do want this. It's full price. I'm not that good at full price. Getting too luck. Is playing cards any good? I never see any. I don't. I don't see many people play playing cards. Maybe I should have tried. I wonder if playing cards is any good. Wood, thanks for teaching me what soak is. My pleasure, Striker. You know, glad to hear that. Glad to hear. Can you play Hammer Dagger with Reaper? Hammer Poison Dagger. What? I'm doing it. Oh, I can't. YOLO. I don't want to play Pan again. It's boring. I play the same thing too many times. I wish I bought the banana now. Watch. Should have bought the banana. Yeah, I'm fine with a bunch of coins too, I guess. Can BOP poison ham dagger? Oh my god. I'm always shocked at how, like, fast hammer kills people early game. Homie just got bopped. So the pigs, the pigs are always just like, well, now we buy every pig we can. Great econ bonus for the pigs, I guess. Hmm. I need. I kind of want a banana. Kind of want a banana and some daggers. Where are my bananas at? Playing cards was fun when you tried it. Gotcha. Yeah. Next time I see an early playing cards, I'll give it a shot. I think I'll give it a shot next time. Skipped it this time though. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, we can make Poison Dagger. It's probably good. Hmm. Hammer Dagger. Eh. Oh, wait. I have a bunch of gold there. Maybe I should have bought the gem to put it in an armor later. I really want to buy more daggers, though. 
Thank you. Yeah, the hammer turns the piggy into a five gold thing, so every it's like a, just a two gold gain, I guess. Two gold immediate gain. Um, I can make a strong shield potion. I think I'll do that just because I have it. But then that means we need to... We need some armor now. I guess I'll get some armor after this. Man, this would have been a really good poison game. I got so many pieces of, like, insane poison stuff. What the hell? I mean, it still is a poison game. I mean, technically, it still is. Because I have poison daggers, so technically, this is still good. And if it's a poison game, I mean, that's decent, too. I mean, whatever. It's just, like, a slightly different version of poison. We just go daggers. Seems good. I still need some armor, though. I have a strong armor potion and no way to proc it. Are there any fast weapons you use stone gloves with? Stone gloves. Those are the ones that make it do more damage, but attack slightly slower, right? I'm sure there is. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure there is. Um, well, I mean, we're dagger built, so we're playing dagger, right? That's for sure. What does this buff do? 1% accuracy, 1% extra crit chance. Okay. Sure. Let's do that. Potion belt. Four. Yeah, it's on sale. Let's take it for now. Could get a vampiric dagger as well. I mean, it doesn't sound bad. Honestly, it doesn't sound bad. Vampiric dagger, poison dagger. Probably fine. Oh, I could have put this in the coffin. Wow, this seems really strong. Holy shit. Hammer, dag hammer poison dagger is like kind of lit. I still have no armor. But we're on it. Oh my god! Hammer, poison, dagger is OP! This ain't, ain't even close! This is not a bad build, too. I mean, this guy has some um, double Fortuna's Hope. Steel Goobert. Like, that's not bad. That's, like, solid. Hold up. Can I scythe my poison daggers? Where would it go? If it goes here, does it... It hits like six spots, right? So a scythe here would hit these three daggers. That's actually pretty good. Okay, 
gonna be here, right? Yeah, it hits all three. That is pretty good. Alright. Pretty good. I'll take it. I could even fit another dagger in there if I want to. To get another dagger, it would actually be better to not play this. I kind of would like one more dagger. Oh shit, yeah, the Death Scythe costs additional stamina. Oh no, I need more stamina now. We're running out of stamina. I don't really want to sell this. I don't, I don't want to sell this either. I don't want to sell anything. For each buff you have. Ah, this is probably not even good for us because we have no other pets and we don't buff ourselves. So this is probably not even a good way to get stamina, huh? I don't think it's good for us. I don't I don't buff myself. For each buff you have, like this doesn't even like I have no buffs. Okay, this this would not work. We need something else. Vamp is a buff? Well, well, that's that's two. That's the only buff we have. So we have two buffs. So we would spend 12 gold to increase our stamina regeneration by 1.4%. That sounds terrible to me. I don't know about you, but 12 gold for 1.4% more stamina seems quite bad to me. I don't even know what the base regen rate is, but like whatever that the that, that cannot be good, whatever that is. That does not sound good. I sold the plant that gives two hearts. Well, I mean even if we have it, right? It's the numbers are not even close. I think I think you're kinda like unless I'm way off here, I think you're missing the point. You gotta do the math, right? Even if we had that, that's 12 gold for like 3% more re stamina. That's like nothing. I think one banana would be more than 3% extra stamina for, for us. So 12 gold for 3% more stamina is like... That does not sound good to me. I still don't have armor. It's like this potion is still very low value because I can't find any armor. Hmm. It's on sale. Oh, thank God. Okay. Banana should help. See, like, this this is where I think the stamina thing would make sense, right? This guy has 20 buffs. Um, when you have two or four buffs, like, like, uh, like something that gives you more stamina per buff, like, 
This is when it would make sense. This? Like, no way. Hmm, close, but no cigar. Just has a really good steel goobert. Okay. His single axe. It's not even a double axe and it does that much damage. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, it's probably like just he has like a spike shield and I'm hitting him with like seven different weapons. And they're all melee. This is probably just a spike shield diff. Probably just killed myself on a spike shield. Have another scythe here? Would it reach these? I probably could. It's actually possible. I'm gonna reserve that. So I could like move um my fruit down. Wait, 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 if I play another scythe though, I, did, I don't have the stamina for another scythe. No, okay, yeah, no, I, I, there's no way I'd have stamina for the second scythe. I, uh, yeah, should not have, that's not a good reserve. Can upgrade a potion. I um, kind of wish I had more daggers. Only three. Would be better if we had more, right? Yeah, there's a vampire goobert. I feel like it would be a nightmare to position though. I don't think we can position for that easily. Not enough room. Yeah, there's not enough room to position well. Sell the scythe for the vamp goob? You think the scythe is that bad? You think a scythe is worse than a vamp goob? Maybe it is. Is it? Maybe it is. I'm not sure though. Vilnius will hmm. rise again. You're plat with the uh, pyromancer and you make fatigue build over and over. Pi Wait, what? You, you mean the venomancer? Pyromancer can't play fatigue build. You think scything the poison potions is better? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe it is. I have to think about it. My brain hurts. Facility power. I see you are still at an early stage of evolution. You need the extra attacks on hammer? Well, why? What, what do you mean by that, though? What does that have to do with the scythe? It's not like the scythe is stopping me from getting extra attacks, is it? Five, four, three, two, one. Facility online. Is clear. Kind of wondering if we should stack or not. Oh, it takes stamina, and the stamina makes the hammers attack less. 
Okay. I mean, if I could just find one stamina potion, that would probably be solved, though. I feel like if I take stacks, uh, we're gonna get zero stacks here. We probably shouldn't, because, like, Liam... <laughs> well, yeah, Liam is a... He's definitely someone that will hug towers if uh, you take stacks. So, stacks is probably no no use here. I can take amateur then. He hasn't let me auto attack him a single time so far. The beacons are energizing. You have to control them. To my aid, friends. Did I know he would go around? No, he had last pick, so it doesn't matter what I pick there. He has last pick. He's gonna counter pick whatever I pick. He probably will upgrade. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? That sounds like it makes a lot of sense. Like, maybe he should have gone stacks anyways, because really he would have had to give me a lot of stacks to, to contest the point, right? So maybe I should have gone stacks anyways. But realistically, stacks is never good, so like, not really. I like, not really. I shouldn't have gone, really gone stacks. It's not good. But, you know. I'm sure this is fine. Stacks is just more fun. Oh man, I didn't get the swap over the wall. I mean, I guess I just win in a 1v1 AFK War of Attrition here, though, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay here. I shall be there shortly. He didn't take those two globes? Yeah, he didn't want to give me the point. If he, if he got off long enough to take the two globes, then he gives me the point. Uh, noob didn't stun forever, man. Well, whatever. At least I got the kill. Oh, 
Meryl doesn't beat anyone on Braxis 1v1? Yeah, but she can knock you off the point and get the point. <laughs> Amateur is so much better than the stacking one, dude. We kill towers so fast. Yeah, now. I wish this stacking one got buffed, though. Our tan is 1v1, dude. Oh shit, I almost trolled. We're alive though, we're alive, we're chilling. Do we even go blind? Bro, they have they have two mages. And like their off lane doesn't auto attack even. But like Terrifier doesn't do anything either. I mean, this is a Tassadar. Yeah, I should. I, actually, Archon does. Archon does a lot of them. Like, blinding Archon is pretty good. Together, we are strong. It's 4 versus 5, but I get a blind on all of them, so it's. It's like 4.5v5. Hopefully it's, they'll be able to get out. One kill is fine. Ah, oh, they're gonna get a second one. That's a little worse. Power spike from the beacons. You'll be active soon. The future is ours. As long as they don't get more than that, it's not the end of the world. Our paths shall be won. My turn to roam. But he can't get on the point, sad. Oh, swap into the root, baby. Hago. My turn to roam. No mares. This is five versus three. I should be able to kill them all if I keep fighting. Mm -hmm. Well, a noob's leaving, so maybe not. Yeah, that guy's should get that. That's a I'm leaving angle. He dies that fast, we can't win the fight. Artanis does have a very fun kit, yeah. It's a lot of fun. It would be even more fun if I was stacking, but then we'd probably be losing. More fun, but less good. Actually, I don't think anyone's coming. I guess a couple. I guess they were coming. <laughs> he missed the throw. Pretty funny. Did someone get on there? 
It's gonna take him a long time to kill me. Someone can get on there. Are they even gonna try? Like, I'm a little confused as to whether these guys are actually trying to kill me or not. Yes, they are. Fudge! I was one second away from the thingy. Didn't play that well. Well, they didn't push with boss at least. That's super weird. <laughs> Every time I see the KTZ, he's always in this situation. With honor, I, leave. I, I guess so am I, but not really. He's been in that situation a lot more. And it makes more sense for me to be in this situation, because I'm the offlaner, you know? Three versus five. I really hope they don't fight three versus five. does not like it there. He, what the hell? He was just hiding, dude. I thought he rotated. all their shit, but we don't have uh, our KTZ, so it can't really do much. Oh, man. Rip. Strux are OP on top lane Braxis. I mean, it's still really good, yeah. Cannot be far. Team's dead. Yeah, that's basically been this whole game. I mean, the team's basically been permanently dead now. This is why the GM games are just so mad now. It's just like... Every game, I'm just watching my team suck. You know, like, it's just like... What is, he, what is even the point? Very interesting. It doesn't matter if we win our lane. Just, just every game, this team just sucks, you know? Our lane is like irrelevant. Why didn't he eat out? I think he might have eaten in. Explanation I could think of. 
Sounds like every League top lane game. That's true. I mean, it is a common problem in all MOBAs. I think it's probably a bit worse in HOTS, because the skill gap in HOTS is a little bit bigger. But, I mean, it's going to be a thing in every team game. You should start force locking DPS carries. Uh, that would help a little bit, but like the thing is not that much because I can play other stuff better than most other people too. So when, for example, last game, we had a game where both of the damage dealers, they only play damage dealers, like they're damage dealing mains. So if you force them to play off lane, then Liam is going to dumpster them, right? So if I'm damage dealing last game, one of them is just going to be like super sucking on top lane, and then we're going to lose top lane really badly. So it's like, it might be a little better, but not really, because wherever they go, they're going to just suck in that lane, and then you're still going to be at a disadvantage. Thank you, Liam. GG. Isn't Funz a Samuro player? I think he did have a Samuro face. I remember him spamming Samuro one face. I don't think that's a hero that's like super great in the uh, top lane Braxis though. That's like a more split pushy hero. Not not amazing on uh, top lane Braxis. Also, he's probably not like um practiced with it anymore. He doesn't... I haven't seen him play it in quite a while. Probably rusty with it. Uh... But I mean, these daggers are also in the coffin, you know? I don't know. I'm not sure if uh, putting this next to the potions is better. Normal normal potions probably not better. Maybe if when they're both strong potions, it might be. Do I want this? I need our. I do need some extra armor. I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take it. Stitches want to play. How do you get a corrupted armor? Just normal armor plus dark crystal. Wow. Dark saber. Corrupted, corrupted reaper build is so strong. Oh. 
Okay, interesting. That was really strong. Started losing once you got the scythe. Yeah, the scythe might have been not good. I mean, I, I, I definitely feel like the scythe might have been not great. It was um full price too, so... I could see it not being good. Definitely possible. But I mean... We are kinda committed now, no? For the frozen throne! Victory above all. Hmm, we all have a false stack game. Let's fly! Yeah, I think Scythe... Uh, Scythe is mainly good with like the Poison Goobert and the um, Poison Serpent. I guess it's just not very good without those. It was worth a shot though. I didn't know it would be bad with poison daggers, but it seems like it's kind of bad with poison daggers. We also don't have, uh, we, we didn't find enough stamina for it, that's true. Let's... Perhaps it would have been fine if we could find more stamina. The battle begins in 10 seconds. I'm probably going AA here to deal with Genji better. Or yeah. I don't know, they got some arrow though. Got the storms. Yeah, screw it. I mean they got some arrow. I you know what? I'm stacking. We we have an AA ball anyways. I'm stacking. Ooh, that felt pretty nice. Now you know what? That felt pretty good. I'm down for this. No complaints here. Honestly, yeah, no complaints. Okay, the problem is Tassadar and Genji are both gonna have spell armor, though. You know, they're both gonna have a lot of spell armor. That's the problem. Do I care though? I will join you shortly. Ah, the skies await. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, he had to, he, he had to press it sooner or later. Old fan versus new fan? I guess so. I think his E actually hit me midair there. That's kind of unfortunate. Rip. I'm on my way to help. Let's 
We redesigned our trigo off protector. That was a good play, though. Prepare to begin field testing. Eating the flight trajectory to try to get a little bit more damage. Check the recap. Yeah, yeah, the E hit me. Swift strike. Spell shield. You usually don't die in games. Does that mean you play too safe? Like you don't die ever? Like in the hots? I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> if you never die in hots. Uh, first of all, I don't even know how that's possible, but that might mean that. <laughs> Aw, oh, shit. I felt like that shouldn't have hit me, but it did. Rip it, pepperonis. That's my beat. Yeah, ah, uh, maybe I should have gone AA build after all. The Genji is going to be a pain in the butt now. Q build false stat just does not match well with Genji. Can't damage him. Honestly, some great stacks. The field has been started. Attack the enemy protector and see how much damage its armor can do. Back off. What would even be the point of making me back off there? My team will begin repair. I guess he doesn't want to get cocooned. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> he yoinked it, that's hilarious. I feel like they shouldn't have let that happen, but no complaints here.
shows their talents. Come on, we've got this. Getting another terminal ready for you. Now that's a heat that I can get behind. Control the terminal and bring in the protector. How many things before the hammer starts to hurt? You know, that's a good question. It might take a while. You tell me. Go stacks. can take this item. I guess I'll I guess I'll use a turret here. Probably gonna lose one there no matter what. What 
Gust to hit about as many people as it could have. Good enough. I need some mana though. I really need some mana, man. No problem. Is this just like a, uh, the subjective doesn't exist kind of game? I think it is. I'm okay with this. Objective is boring. Ah, oh, shit. I trolled. I wasted too many resources there. I want, I want this back. I used mine, I need a new one. Pretty good wall gust. I got one kill though. Ah! Can you false that against Genji? Is so bad, man. I should have gone a. This game feels like it's never gonna end. Maybe, maybe the robot does speed things up a little bit. Like this feels even slower than a usual Sky game. Oh my god, this one is so slow.
Am I gonna try Marvel Rivals? Is that a new MOBA? If it's a new MOBA, I'll probably try it, yeah. If it like ever releases, like I don't even know what the release date is or anything. Oh, it's the Overwatch clone one. I mean, I might, I might try it, but we'll see. I'm not a not not as big of a fan as uh, of Overwatch type games. Gus, but whatever. We have too many people here. Well, that was a weird one. Grandmaster Aram for sure. A successful battle. MVP. Alright, y'all know what time it is. GG guys, it's been fun, but that's all the time we have for today. I'm out for now, I'll be back tomorrow for more Pepega Fiesta, as always. Uh, if you guys are trying to, to get better. Someone in my country that plays Hots when everyone else plays League. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No one has ever heard of Hots or Dexterity. That's unfortunate. Well, if everyone's playing League, you might have better luck finding a unicorn than a Heroes of the Storm player in your country. Good luck on your quest for the elusive Hots gamer, my friend. And hey, if you can't find anyone, just shoot some b-balls instead. Like That's you true. You could just shoot some b-balls instead of playing hots. Hey, but if you're looking for people to play hots with, you know, I got a Discord. There's a lot of hots Discord. You can uh, look there. Anyways, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for more Papega Fiesta, guys. Uh, if you guys want to get better at hots, you want better, you gotta get higher rank, better win rate. You just want to win more, but you're not sure how to do it by yourself. Check out my Patreon, that's exclamation mark Patreon in chat, or patreon.com slash fanhots. We have over 120 exclusive Grandmaster level guides on there, and we add more every single week. So check that out if you need it. Right. Till tomorrow, chat. It's been fun.